Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're with Elliot Cohen, the personal chef, and he's going to be making us something. So what are you going to be making us? I'm going to be making some um, steamed Chinese dumplings with a shrimp mango filling and a really nice apricot dipping sauce. So let's get started. <laughs> I want to show you some of the ingredients we'll be using today. I have some frozen shrimp that were defrosted, deveined, shell is off, fresh ginger, some scallions. We have some oyster sauce, some toasted sesame oil, black and white sesame seeds that I'm going to decorate the dumplings with later, fresh spinach, and some fresh coriander, also called cilantro. I'm going to make a nice dipping sauce to go with the dumplings after. And we're going to use a uh, good quality apricot jam, some fresh lime juice, again, and some coriander and we're going to use a little hot sauce. To do this dish you really need a food processor. It's tough to do it without so it's going to make your life a lot easier. Make the filling in here. We're going to assemble them in these dumpling wraps. And you can buy these in Asian markets. Some grocery stores have these as well. Okay so I'm going to take these shrimp and I'm going to put them into the food processor. I'm going to take some oyster sauce just a little bit. This is very salty. This is toasted sesame oil. Really, really a lot of flavor. A little goes a long way, so just a splash. And then I'm going to take these green onions, also called scallions, and I'm just going to slice them. Everything's going in here is going to get combined in the processor, so I don't have to worry about cutting everything up beforehand. Fresh ginger, very essential. I'm just going to trim the outside, and then again I'm going to slice it. Put these pieces in here. Fresh spinach, which will add some nice color to this dish. Some fresh coriander, very refreshing herb. I need an egg. What I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this egg. And just go back and forth like this. The white will fall away. And this egg white is going to hold the mix together when it cooks and sort of bind it together. Blend this together. So you can smell this and look at it, it's really, really pretty. I'm going to add some mango to it and the reason why I didn't add the mango in there before is because I want the chunks to be in there. I'm going to go down the side and the other side. So now I've got my two halves. So I'm going to score this mango with a serrated knife in one direction and then I'm going to go in the other direction like that. But I'm going to take my serrated knife, which is a little flexible, push it down flat against this mango and just slice along the bottom of it and pull up all those chunks like that. So now I've got my chunks in there. Now I'm just going to combine everything together. Make sure I get the mangoes integrated into the mix. Ultimately, if you have some time, you want to be able to put this in the fridge, maybe for an hour, let it firm up a little bit. But the important thing is when you're making a dumpling and anything that you're going to wrap, you don't want it to be too soggy or too liquidy because then the liquid will penetrate the wrap and the wrap will tear. 